so glad to see that there's still places like this. So I backtracked. I spent last night in uh, Red Rock Canyon, which is uh, in Mojave for the most part. But then this morning, I wanted to have breakfast at Olancha, the old restaurant. I wanted to make a video, but I just didn't want to pull over, I guess. But um, the old restaurant had been there my whole life. I remember going there as a little child, going up skiing to, on mammoth trips. And I remember taking my kids there every time we would go up to Mammoth or Death Valley. We would swing by this little, cool, old style um, country diner. It was like one of those places that looked like an old, cool house. It was actually a, a family-run diner. And sometimes you'd have their like bedrooms up above or in the back. And they would have, you know, their, the, their front yard was the front yard of the restaurant. And their backyard was the backyard of the restaurant. And they really decorated the whole front yard and backyard really cool with, um, you know, wagon wheels and roosters and, um, you know, the statues of Brewster. All kinds of little quaint country type of things. Um, but that has been closed down, much to my chagrin. But I noticed there was a new one that had been open maybe a um, quarter of a mile uh, south, south, southwest on uh, 395. Same side of the street. So I wanted to go up there and try it. I figured they probably are like the old one and they offer breakfast, country style, you know, with biscuits and gravy and all that good stuff. Um, but once I started, um, once I put like 40 minutes behind the wheel, I realized it was too far away. It was gonna be like another 40 minutes. And so I pulled over and got gas and it looked like it was at half a tank, but it, was like $74, 73 and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to um, go much further. So um, just did a little four wheel driving and then thought I would get some more ice from my ice chest and let Ozzy just chew on some dentines and have a little water here. And I'm drinking a little bit of water here, but, um, Look how cool this place is. Just old, old. There were so many of these little tiny independent family gas stations when you go through Mojave or even Owens Valley that were like this. And now this place has like, a, I'd say he's about 88, 90 years old, this old gentleman here. Let me take you inside and show you this. He doesn't really hang out in the store. He hangs out in the back and like sleeps. And you have to wake him up if you want to buy something. You have to wake him up if you want to buy something. So this is the place. It's really, you know, got that cool old fashioned feel. And then you get your restrooms over here, but with no running water. Darn it, because I wanted to wash out my cup that I use. Get some cool BB guns. Sunglasses. Oh, I could use a scarf. Hello. I was um, filming a video about what a cool place this is, about how this is old fashioned. You know, this is one of the old fashioned, like independent run little gas stations. I'd like to buy a scarf from you. This $3 scarf right here. Needless to say, I uh, got in a little bit of trouble there. I had to try to charm my way out of it. He was upset that I was filming inside without his permission. And 
you know, that that's his option. But I was trying to tell him I was talking about what a cool place he would, this is to my subscribers. Anyways, Ozzy, whenever we're out and about, wants to play fetch, you know, and it, it's hard on him, it wears him down. So sometimes I just have to tie him down to a bench and force him while I read or look at YouTube and force him to um, take breaks. Because he's, we've been through extremes. We've been in really, really warm weather on an ocean beach to really, really warm to cold weather up in Mammoth. He was shivering in bed a little bit last night again. Anyways, you guys, hope everyone's doing well. I'll keep you posted. Adios.